From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, good morning, everyone. You know, yesterday, it was the warmest of the week that we're going to see this week because we have some changes. They've begun here today. So we've got changes in our weather pattern with a chance for valley and mountain showers today. And yes, the valley could see some activity. Now, I think the best chances will be in the morning, but the better chances will be in the mountains, not only today, but really as we kind of extend on to the next several days. Although by Thursday, Friday, everyone's going to be looking at it. A cooling trend in store for us. We're already going to see that again today. Uh, you know, we're looking at over a 10 degree drop from what we saw yesterday in some cases. So yeah, significantly cooler. Showers and thunderstorms, which will be mainly in the mountains here, really off and on through the extended into this even upcoming weekend. So here are the high temperatures we saw yesterday. Not quite reaching that 90 degree mark. We're getting close though. Look at Orville, look at Redding, 88 degrees, 84 for Red Bluff, 85 out in Corning. And even in the mountains, quite warm in the 70s, even some 80s, 84 for Bernie, 87 for Hoopa, and along the coast, temperatures in the low 60s. So begs the question, when do we typically hit uh, 90 degrees for the first time? Well, some of the records, April 6th was the first time ever in since records have been taken that we saw the earliest return of those 90 degree temperatures. All right, that was April 6th and April 7th in 2022 and April 18th, 2021. So we are due to maybe see some 90 degree readings, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Here's your neighborhood forecast at a glance. Now, again, I've included the chance for the valley. That's mainly in the morning hours. By the afternoon, I think most of it will be in the mountains. And there you can see isolated showers, maybe some thunderstorms in the mountains, but the coast, I think you'll be dry all day long today, including the inland areas. But check this out. Taking a look at the Storm Prediction Center, all of the areas in green here are saying, hey, there's a chance for thunderstorms. And you'll notice it includes the valley. So this is something we're going to have to watch here closely. So knowing this, let's start by taking a look at our future cast here. So as we take you into about uh, 8, 10, 8 o'clock in the morning, there you can see some of the clouds. Now, Here's kind of what's important for us, because if we can get enough daytime heating, we might see better chances for showers as we go through the morning hours. But this is a bit of a weak disturbance passing through. But one thing to keep in mind, too, is the availability of moisture. The atmosphere right now is very dry. So you think of a, of a sponge. The atmosphere is like a sponge. So you've got to fill up that sponge before it starts to overflow and eventually you start to see some of those showers. So we're kind of at the point where we've got to fill up that sponge a little bit so it may be difficult. We may see some verga, which is rain that evaporates before it reaches the ground, but uh, that will be the case here through the morning hours. So see what happens at about 10 a.m. We're beginning to see some pop-ups, including parts of the valley. We go into about the noon hour, they're beginning to pop up again here. But notice where most of it's beginning to pop up at this point for the coast. But again, the valley could get caught up in some of that. So we take about two o'clock in the afternoon. You see how it's really too close for comfort in the Reading area to maybe see a stray sprinkle or a light shower. So through the morning hours, even into the early afternoon, we could see a little bit of activity in the valley. But most of it, as you can see here, is going to be in the higher elevation. So if you live in the mountains, yeah, you're most likely going to hear some rumbles of thunder. If you don't feel the impacts of it, you may at least hear it off in the distance. Right. Then we go into about uh, 5 p.m., still most of the activity in the higher elevations. But again, notice the coast, you're looking at dry conditions. Then we go into about uh, 10 o'clock tonight and it's pretty much gone. We'll see a repeat of that, at least for the mountains here going into your Wednesday. All right. Here's what it looks like for today. Temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 70s. Yeah, low to mid 70s as opposed to the mid to upper 80s we saw yesterday. How about the mountains in the 60s and some low 70s in there? And for the coast, you're looking at upper 50s to around 60 degrees for that daytime high. So here's a quick look at your seven-day outlook for each region. There you can see a chance for showers here for Red Bluff. By the way, we got more coming up after these seven days. We're going to be looking at more detail on the forecast coming up going through the rest of the week. Wednesday, we're dry. Uh, and then, of course, the chance for showers Thursday and Friday. Dry
drying out for the weekend. Let's take a look at your seven day outlook for the coast. Dry today and tomorrow, as well as the inland areas, but we could see some isolated showers and thunderstorms at least through Friday. I think across the board from Northern California, it will be dry on Saturday, but the higher elevations, including the coast, may see some showers here by the second half of the weekend and going into early next week. So there you can see El Turris, Mount Shasta, Susanville, all seeing the chance for thunderstorms. And by the way, we could see some thunderstorms in here as well, uh, but of course, uh, it's going to be kind of one of those day by day type of situations. Hey, by the way, heading out to cool April nights. Yeah, do do take warning that by the late morning hours, even in the early uh, afternoon, there could be a chance for a stray sprinkle or a light shower. So I just want you to be aware of that. I don't anticipate it to be a big deal. And then it, it looks like uh, chances diminish here as we go into the evening hours, because you can see here for Parsons Junior High, Riddick Sports Club, looks like you're going to be in pretty good shape here as far as uh, looking at uh, mainly dry conditions here for those events. Here's a look at your satellite and there you can see a bit of a spinning area of low pressure right here. That's not going to have too much impact on us because mainly it's going to move down to our south, but we are seeing this little bit of a disturbance kind of coming on in here and that's what's going to allow us to see that potential. So again, Here's that severe outlook I was talking about. Most of Northern California has a chance for showers and thunderstorms today, with the exception of the North Coast. So again, taking a look at mine. So we're gonna take a look at two different forecast models. This one's known as the HRRR, or HRRR as we call it. What it does is it updates every hour. Now, take a look at this. I'm gonna take you all the way through the noon hour. Doesn't show anything for the valley this morning. Okay, but there you can see a little bit of activity popping up in Trinity County. But then, as we'd expect, we're seeing the pop ups here in the higher elevations here through the afternoon and even into tonight. But again, take note, nothing in the valley based on this particular forecast model. Now, we look at our in-house forecast model, bit of a different story. We saw that here just a second ago. We're going to go beyond that, but there you can see in the morning through noon, you see how most of it's in the mountains, much like the forecast model we just looked at but we can't rule out the potential for some of it in the valley. Is it a big chance? No. I think there's a very good chance we may be dry all morning long for the valley. But you know, the thing is, when you have it out there, even if it's in the higher levels of the atmosphere, Mother Nature always has a way of surprising us, doesn't she? So we can't rule that out. Don't be surprised if you run into a light sprinkle this morning into the early uh, afternoon hours, but otherwise mainly dry. Most of it will be in the mountains where we'll see the chance for thunderstorms here. Then we go into your Wednesday morning. It's dry for everyone. Wednesday by around noon, we're starting to see thunderstorms popping up in the mountains, just mainly showers at that point. But then you can see those thunderstorm potential. Now look what happens, because this is all going to progress eastward. It Usually, when you see a thunderstorm over Trinity County, it kind of comes down the mountains, it loses a lot of its strength. But we can't rule out a stray shower here as we do go into Wednesday evening, Wednesday night for especially the north end of the valley. Now this right here is the next disturbance we got our eyes on. This is the best chance for rain across the board for all of Northern California. By noon, it's mainly still to the west of the valley, and then as we go through the afternoon, those showers start to kind of kick in. And then, of course, that kind of pushes itself off to the east. There will be some more instability coming in behind that for your Friday. And in fact, we take a look at this uh, severe outlook here for tomorrow. Again, you can see the better chances for thunderstorms will be east of the valley. And then by Thursday, what we're seeing here is no chances, at least based from the Storm Prediction Center. All right, so here is a look at Thursday. That system coming through. Oh, we just showed you that, right? This is the long range forecast model, so it's not quite as kind of in tune with everything, but you get an idea. So Friday, I think the first half of the day, we could see showers. Now for the main cool April nights cruise going on starting at 630, look what's happening. Looks like most of the rain is going to be off to the east. By the way, you're seeing snow here. That's mainly above 6,000 feet. So it's, it's not going to have much impact on your travel. You'll have to go over some of those highest mountain passes, especially as you start going this year. But I don't expect it to be a problem. But kind of back to the task at hand. Cool April Nice Cruise starts at 630. It looks like we may have the potential. The timing of this is going to change. I can tell you that much right now. But we may have the potential for some clearing for the second half of the day on Friday. And then the main event on Saturday for Cool April Nights looks dry at this point. And even going into your Sunday, and by the way, I'm going to take you through the day on Saturday, we'll probably see a few more clouds coming in through the day. So starting off clear on Saturday, but then through the afternoon, those clouds kick in. 
that's going to make it cooler outside, but I don't anticipate rain. And we may see a little bit of rain off to the north and west on Saturday. And then on Sunday, you can see very weak systems, so it should be dry even through Sunday. Although, I'm still calling for a chance for showers for many of the higher elevations on Saturday, excuse me, Sunday and even into Monday. But then we've got another storm system, believe it or not, kind of long range going into next week. But this area of low pressure is going to dive down to the south. And that's going to keep our temperatures cooler, right? Below normal, most likely, and even bring a chance for some more showers, especially for the higher elevation. So looking at the precipitation outlook, yeah, wetter than normal conditions, certainly not out of the question. That being said, these systems are not terribly strong. They're not going to bring us a ton of rainfall. So don't look at that and go, wow, it's going to be really bad. No, it's because it's not. Now we do have a bit of a split system here. This kind of broke off and is going to be moving to our south, but that's enough to help to kind of create some of that instability. There's Thursday, cooler with showers. There's a look at Friday, still that cooler air in place. And then as we go into your weekend, that shifts on out, but the cooler air is staying in place. And this is that next storm system I was talking about that's gonna kind of ride down to the east and then shift down to the south. And again, that's gonna keep that cooler air in place and also that chance for showers, mainly in the mountains going into early next week. So looking at the temperature outlook, yeah, I mean, we're looking at a very good chance of seeing below normal temperatures here in the long range. So cooler and a little bit wetter, all right? Now, looking at the winds here real quickly, I just wanted to show you that the winds will mainly be from the south, a little breezy at times for the valley and even into the eastern mountains. But Wednesday morning shouldn't be that bad. Then we go into Wednesday afternoon. Once again, we're seeing a bit of that south flow. Winds coming in from the west for the eastern mountains and could be a little gusty at times and a little breezy along the coast as we'd expect. Taking you into your Thursday morning, once again, the wind's fairly calm, but going into Thursday afternoon, they kind of pick up a little bit here and coming in from that west for the eastern mountains, looking at some gusty winds. So your wave heights for today, all right, they are going to be six to seven feet heading out to sea, but they are going to start to drop. So this is obviously good news if you need to be on a small boat because the wave heights are actually decreasing. So we look at our winds from the south at five to 15 knots and there are no advisories. We'll certainly take that. Here's your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Temperatures are gonna be in the low 70s for most of us in the higher elevations, especially in Trinity County. There's a chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms. We could see thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as well. But for now, it's going to kind of keep that chance for wet weather in there. I think across the board, though, most of us, if not all of us, should be dry on Saturday. But you'll notice dry conditions for today and tomorrow for the inland areas and the coast. It's not until Thursday that we'll see that chance for showers. And then it uh, looks like slimmer chances for showers, but still that chance going into Friday. There's your seven-day seven day outlook for Siskiyou County. Thunderstorms today, off and on through Friday. There's that break possibly on Saturday before we see another, just a slight chance. Quite honestly, it's Sunday, Monday, it may be dry, but again, I'm just gonna kind of keep that slight chance in there because we're seeing that storm system coming in from the north that may help to destabilize the atmosphere a little bit. Temperatures today should be in the low 70s for uh, Modoc County and for the Eastern Mountains also. The chance for thunderstorms this afternoon along with some scattered showers. Temperatures mainly in the 60s and some low 70s. Your Valley neighborhood forecast brought to you by NorCal Tractor. I got that chance mainly for the first half of the day. As we go through the afternoon, those chances will probably be a bit slimmer. Temperatures will be in the mid, low to mid 70s, really. So it's going to be a lot cooler than it has been. 73 degrees for Lakehead, 69 for Whiskey Town, and 73 for Red Bluff. All right, let's take a look at that 70 outlook for Redding. Again, that chance today, dry on Wednesday. And then more showers. I think Thursday is going to be the main quote unquote event as far as rain is concerned. And then we go into Friday, first half of the day. And it looks like at this point, it should dry out for the second half of the day on Friday, especially going into the evening hours and then dry for your weekend and even going into early next week.